So imagine if in the United States, we had an inflow of 2 million refugees. A lot of Ukrainian cities are bombed and almost totally destroyed. What we heard from our Crate Unit colleagues here is they help provide them with food, with water, with medicines, blankets and linens, clothes to be able to afford housing, finding stable housing, letting the children go to school so they have a good education, a more stable environment. That's the sound that Dr. Brian Branch and I arrived to in Lviv, Ukraine, delivering an ambulance to a children's hospital. One of the sayings that Brian often shares is when something bad happens, most people run out, but credit unions run in. He's addicted to helping people and coming up with solutions and seeing how a solution in one country can be tweaked and used in another country. He's out there and he really gets involved. It gives me the feeling that we're making a difference. My father was a city kid who always wanted to have a farm. And it was a crate and that took a chance on him. I gave him a loan to buy that farm. That was his dream. It was the farm that I grew up on. I worked with Cretans in 106 countries around the world, all the continents with the exception of Antarctica, of course. And I flew about 10.6 million miles. He's the only guy I know that has survived two airplane crashes. Wherever Brian Branch goes, there's always disaster. When I began working at the World Council in 1990, it was a time of great upheaval in what was previously the Soviet Union, a new notion of economic freedom. I had the opportunity to travel to Poland to help set up credit unions, and that became one of the strongest credit union systems in Eastern Europe, and became an anchor in later years. We worked for a number of years in Mexico with Mexican credit unions to go and reach some of the most remote communities by using motorbikes and whatnot to the rural areas, mountainous areas. So they took the credit union to the people. With their smartphones, then they were able to transact business right there at the work site. That example in Mexico was then transferred to Ventura County Credit Union where they were able to go to the agricultural fields. We saw around the world a number of natural disasters. 2004 was the Indian Ocean tsunami that came ashore in Sri Lanka. This was another instance where uh, the international credit union system very quickly came together to help rebuild those credit unions that were destroyed. It was those local credit unions that were first on the ground providing immediate relief, and those credit unions became symbols of stability. We did a program in Eastern Kenya helping credit unions develop their agricultural lending practices. Doing this work, we found that many of these rural communities had large numbers of HIV AIDS orphans. Many of these children just fell through the, the net. It's 130 degree heat, that's dry heat. He's a guy that swings a hammer, pours a concrete. He's a visionary, he's the most compassionate person I ever met. And this became an international phenomenon where more Cretans from different countries got involved. We were one of the first groups to go to the orphanage. It's almost overwhelming, frankly, to know that you can really make a difference. People have often asked, what does an orphanage have to do with Cretans? Cretans respond to the challenges that their communities establish as their priorities. The day of the earthquake, we couldn't reach our staff. We were trying to get into Haiti to bring some relief. We talked to USAID, they couldn't get in. We talked to the White House, they were happy to put us on a list. A couple days later, I called the credit union system in the Dominican Republic, and they said, well, what took you so long? Put $50,000 in a knapsack, to flew down to Santo Domingo. The Dominican credit unions met us at the airport. A guy named Raul with a little revolver sticking out of his pocket. Within a week, 
We had tents up in the parking lots, crane that were dispersing cash. It gave the Haitians a sense that the international crane system has our back. February 26th, the war broke out and Russia invaded Ukraine. And I called Brian and I said, hey, what are we gonna do? And he says, hey, I'm retired now. And I said, so? So our goal today is to learn how we can establish direct access to support the refugees as they come into Poland. Just after a few weeks after the war started, Brian Branch and Bruce Falk uh, came to Poland. We created a special foundation, Via Stella Foundation. We began to raise funds directly between American credit unions and Polish credit unions. And we raised $400,000 in funds. We purchased 10 ambulances and we purchased two safe cars. They told us that a children's hospital in Lviv, Ukraine needed an ambulance. He volunteered right off the bat to go to the war zone. Amazing how fast the credit union community can help. This represents the children of Ukraine and the children of the United States and believing that they can make a difference together. We're saving a lot of children's lives over there. He likes to give credit to everybody else. This is to you, brother. Cheers, and I'll see you in Ukraine. It was a, a tremendous exercise in creativity to try to make the world a better place. And Creighton's were the tools that we chose to do that with. If you're trying to drive the, the Queen Elizabeth, it's very large, it's very slow to make a turn in a different direction. Whereas when you're working with a community of credit unions, it's like a fleet of sailboats, which can very quickly tack and change their direction. It's one thing to travel across the country. It's another thing to travel 10, 12 time zones away, time away from your family, time away from your home. You have to have an incredible passion for what you're doing. When you think about the opportunity to touch a billion lives, there's no one that has had a greater impact on the global credit union industry.